Trisha Paytas creating drama for financial gain, which puts her as the biggest troll on YouTube. I don't like to be center of attention, except when I want to be center of attention. I woke up this morning feeling like a chicken nugget. I'm going to tell you why I identify. All right, welcome back to your favorite commentary channel. Today's video, we're going to be talking about lying, manipulation, and creating drama to stay relevant. And that person is Trisha Paytas. She's a YouTuber with 4.9 million subscribers and posts what I can only describe as uh, the most interesting content. I mean, making out with a couch? If you didn't know, making out with furniture is the new Viagra. But she's best described as an internet troll, which the dictionary defines as a troll is a person who starts quarrels or upsets people on the internet for the troll's amusement or a specific gain. Oh boy, sit back. This is going to be a fun one. I'd like to say everyone is entitled to their own opinion, so please let me know in the comments section what your thoughts are once the video is finished. So let's begin. Trisha Paytas has been having some shots fired at her recently. Uh, no, no. Not those kind of shots. <laughs> but on a recent video she released, which was called I Am Transgender, Female to Male. And as you can see, the community really wasn't happy with her. Now it might seem odd that such a wholesome video has so much hate. Well, it would have been wholesome if good old Treasure Paytas actually knew the meaning of transgender. But of course, what do we expect? She lives on a kitchen floor for Christ's sake. So do I think I'm transgender? Yes, a thousand percent. Do I identify with my natural born gender? A thousand percent. Holy moly Christ. Let me just call my doctor because I'm not sure if I'm having a stroke or not. I just know I need a bonus scan, <laughs> a brain scan. Brain scan. So you claim you're transgender, but you also refer to yourself as your gender given at birth. That's like me saying, did I finish in bed early? Thousand percent. Do I deserve a 10 out of 10 in bed? A thousand percent. <laughs> Oh, it never happens, Ella. So there's a very small understanding why the community is angry at Trisha. She doesn't really understand the definition of the word. Now, I do believe Trisha is slightly confused, or she's either trolling. We're about to find out. As always, it doesn't stop there. She goes on to talk about this. And I've always just been attracted to guys, but not straight guys. I've always been attracted to gay guys. Oh, is that right? Oh, but, but, but didn't you date like Jason Nash, who is in fact a straight man? <laughs> I hate to break it to you, Trisha, but you have the same IQ level as my pet rock. You were heartbroken once you and Jason broke up. You cried in the kitchen floor for months. Being in love with Jason does in fact make you attracted to straight men. However, I'll be diving into her apology video very soon and also taking a look at her recent damage control video where she basically blames all these scandals on mental health. Uh, so stay tuned for that, but uh, let's take a look at this first. I don't, and I know this is where it's gonna get a little scandalous, I don't love pronouns like they and them because that's super confusing. Uh, uh, all right. All right, okay. I refer to myself as a boy. You have to respect it. But them or they? What on earth? I don't like that. I'm sorry, but I really don't like that. Your story is way too confusing for me. I'm unable to function. But me, however, is simple to understand because me have big brain. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you just offended every single person that refers to themselves as them or they. Now, let's jump into HQ and discuss why people are angry and also the history of lying to see if there's any correlation between the two. Every day I'm shitting and I'm pissing on this hypocrisy. All right, welcome to HQ. Now I'd like to address the elephant in the room, which everyone is speculating. Is Trisha Paytas doing this for attention to stay relevant? Is she creating drama for self gain? The only way we can prove that, my friends, is by reflecting on her past. <laughs> but first, let's see what the community is saying on Twitter about that. Dressing up as the opposite sex for a day is not what being transgender is, but okay. Have fun getting dragged, sis. To give birth. Honestly, the video has made me so upset I'm crying. I've worked so effing hard to be accepted and like this makes me look like a joke. <clears throat> so as you can see, people really aren't happy with Trisha Paytas right now. However, this isn't the first time Trisha Paytas has come out. She's actually come out before as L, G and B. <laughs> oh Christ. Oh, do you know what those mean, Trisha? Um, I don't know. Right, but Trisha Paytas is about to take you all by storm. The power of the gods. She came out and identified no other than a chicken nugget. That's right, she came out as a chicken nugget. A 20 piece box to be exact. <laughs> well, Trisha, if you're a chicken nugget, well, then I'm a fridge freezer. Next time you buy chicken nuggets, well, uh, be careful because one of them might actually be Trisha Paytas. And believe it or not, she packed more ads on that video than I'm packing in my pants. I woke up this morning feeling like a chicken nugget.
<laughs> now we really are in desperate need for Jesus. God bless America. So that's just one example of Trisha Paytas trolling and lying. Here's another example of her trolling. She made a video very, very upset saying she had to take a long break from YouTube and she was crying and everything, but then continued to upload the next day. I'm making this video for the sole purpose to let you guys know that like, I'm going to be taking a really, really long break on YouTube. And that includes from sponsored videos, sponsored posts. I have a lot that were scheduled to go up and that were already filmed and shot and I like, I can't even. Stop. Stop it right there. What are we looking at here? As you can see, she posted this video on the 22nd of June and it had uh, 9 million views. <clears throat> with ads on by the way. However, I was actually mistaken by this. If we just look on the next video, she actually posted this video on the exact same day, which had another 4.4 million views. So while Trisha was crying like a mongoose saying she was quitting YouTube and not gonna upload for months, she uploaded only hours later. Now this is a grand example of audience manipulation and continue to use one constant topic to constantly bring in views and money. I mean, we can't write this. Or, or, how about the fact that she claimed bisexual is a real thing, even though she's identified as bisexual practically in her entire life? <laughs> a lot of people might say, oh, well, you're bisexual. I don't really buy into bisexuality. I don't think bisexualness is a real thing. I don't think that's even real. I think you're gay or you're straight. So I've just done like a lot of like self-reflecting and realizing that I always thought I was bisexual. Hmm, interesting, Trisha. Is it a shock that your entire career is basically continuously building off lies? I mean, not really, considering the fact there is a video called Coming Clean About All My Lies. Doesn't that seem too familiar? Although that is interesting, surely she couldn't have admitted to trolling and completely backing up all my points. I always thought, oh my gosh, am I trans? And I know, like, I know I've, like, trolled and stuff in the past, and so I don't want people to think this is, like, a trolling video. I've known, like, I've, like, come out as, like, gay before. I've come out as bisexual before. <sighs> <laughs> so, so, sorry, that, that, that was just so intense, my, my, my pores started to leak blood. Now, let's talk about Trisha's apology and damage control. The aftermath, if you will, where careers begin to fall. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the memorial of Trisha Paytas. How in the fuck are you about to say the way that we do it is not the way? How in the fuck are you about to say the way that we do it is not the way? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm glad you're all here to witness the dismemberment of Trisha Paytas' career. This is where we review damage control and pinpoint the reason for someone's downfall. Now a good place to start would be her apology video. Now the first thing you'll notice is the amount of ads in this video, but also it's a really strange thing how this video was in fact posted 12 hours after the original video, almost as if it was an evil master plan of hers. A revenue stream which sucks money. Another thing which I found very astonishing is how she actually said she has a gender therapy I have a gender identity therapist. Now, Trisha, if you had a gender therapist, they can't be doing a very good job. You wouldn't have a thousand percent identified as transgender, but not just that, but also 1000% identified as the gender given to you at birth. Maybe even damage control, as if your therapist told you to identify as those two things. Now rather than just apologising and being mature about it on how she offended everyone, she actually went on to pin it on the entire world for them not accepting her switch and basically played the victim card. Can't apologise for who I am and like how I feel and it sucks that I we live in this world and I, I just I'm just not allowed to identify as a man because of how I live. Now she sat on the floor feeling sorry for herself and saying that people aren't accepting her even though most of the people watching that video was just defending their community from someone who is known as an internet troll. Speaking of trolling, she posted another video called I'm Questioning. Well, Trisha, I'm happy to inform you that you're not the only one questioning right now. This video consisted of even more damage control and even one of her viewers said this. I'd be a hell of a lot more trusting if this didn't have ads on it. But it's not a lie that when Trisha creates drama, her views noticeably increase. You gotta stop and think. Is she trolling again just for financial gain? However, this hole gets deeper. She then decided to post a video called Borderline Personality Disorder. Yes, you guessed it. She packed that full of ads as well on Mental Health Day. Seems to be a common occurrence at this point. And in the grand scheme of things, she decides to do this in the very first minute. First and foremost, I think I know 100% of the world struggles with some sort of mental illness. 100% of the world struggles with mental illness. Excuse me while I go in the back just to f 
myself. Again, this is something you also lack knowledge with. Am I reliving the same 10 minutes over and over? Now the question does arise. Is Trisha Paytas using her struggles with mental health as damage control? Where she blames all of her confusion and all of her mistakes over the course of the last few days purely on mental health. In my opinion, I do feel Trisha Paytas deep down is actually confused with who she is as a person. However, that doesn't justify how she posts three consecutive videos with the exact same subject with the video packed full of ads and never apologized for offending anyone. Instead, she blamed everyone else not for accepting her, keeping in mind that she is known for trolling in her entire career on YouTube. Do you really blame the community for not trusting Trisha Paytas? From that, I'll let you construct your own opinion in the comment section. Please let me know what you think of the situation and without further ado that is the end of today's video i hope you all enjoyed if you did don't forget to subscribe and of course leave a like lads and lasses i'll see you all in the next one yeah. peace you mad bro uh yeah i said tell me what you mad for uh you mad